Hey guys, it's me. It's Tuesday night and you know what that means. Tonight is weigh-in day and I am happy to say, wait, no, I'm not going to say anything yet. I'm going to fill you in. For those of you that are just new to subscribing to my channel, I've been on Weight Watchers now a little over a month and I am doing some experimentation. This week, although fruit on the Weight Watchers plan is all zero, in, in moderation, I decided to count the points this week and the reason I did that is because I find myself eating a lot of fruit. Let me preface this. Wait, I'm sorry guys, I have an itch. I'm laying here in my bed and you know what? Off topic for two seconds. I swear I'd never make a video in bed and I swore I would never look so crappy on YouTube but guess what? Real life, hello! I got stuck in the rain today wearing inappropriate shoes. My feet got wet. My clothes got wet. I had no umbrella. I got totally pummeled with snow and wind and rain. Ugh, what a day. It's, it's almost like every Tuesday is like a hell fest for me. <laughs> I don't know. So excuse the fact that I'm in bed and excuse the fact that I look like crap, but I don't care. Guys, this is real life and you guys are like family to me and you know what? Family can see people looking like crap. So anyhow, Back to, back to the Weight Watcher stuff. So yeah, I've been counting fruit. And while I've been counting fruit, I've been substituting that with things that aren't so healthy and software update. Okay, guys, let me just close this off here. Sorry, came up on my eye screen here. Um, my eye screen. See, I am such a computer nerd. I don't even know what the hell it's called. iPad, iPhone, iPod. Ah! <laughs> Sorry. I'm tired, but, okay, so I've been counting fruit and eating things that maybe I shouldn't, all right, you can eat anything, right, and you can count it, but I can't eat the stuff that I'm substituting fruit with. I should just eat the fruit and stop bitching and moaning and, and whatever, but I'm glad I did this experiment because it showed one thing. It showed that, ready, I lost... <sighs> One pound this week. I did. I lost one pound. And while I'm happy with that, there's that, oh, why one pound? I've been on this plan for a couple weeks now, and I, it's like I gain a pound, I lose a pound. I maintain, I gain 0.8, I lose 0.2. What in the world? Guys, anyone out there experiencing this? Because I'm totally getting frustrated by it. I mean, why can't I lose by now five pounds? Why? I feel like I'm exercising and eating right, and I don't know. I mean, I'm getting older, but I'm not, like, ancient. <sighs> Very frustrated. I don't know. You guys are going to think I'm crazy, and I don't want to be, like, the Debbie Downer, but I don't know. I'm, um, I'm happy with the pound, but I'm not happy with my overall success. Frustrated. I'm aggravated, and that's going to make me want to just forget the whole thing, which I'm not doing because I'm dedicated and I'm accountable and all that other good stuff. But this is real, and this is me right now, and I'm not happy. I want to lose this weight, and it's like, you know, I, I'm not starving myself. My body's not going into starvation mode. I, you know, I play around with the points. I eat some weeklies. I don't eat weeklies. I eat activity points. I don't eat... I, I don't know. It's like momentum worked for me when the momentum plan was out. I've been reading so many things on this new plan and like everybody says they're not losing on it. So I don't know what it is. I don't know. You know, I know Weight Watchers is a business and they're in to make money, but there's so many people that are successful on it. So I don't know. I'm just, I don't know what's going on with me. I don't know. I, I, I need to try something. So here's what my plan is for this week. Here's my next experiment. You guys are going to crack up. I'm full of experiments. The science nerd in me, here I go. All right, so for this week, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to eat, remember the old plan that had like core and things like that? All right, so this week, I'm not going to have my usual English muffin or my bread or my brown rice. I don't know. Maybe I'm going to have to have some brown rice. I mean, you can't go and have nothing, right? But I'm going to up the protein, up the vegetables, and oh, I hate to say it, but I'm going to incorporate more fruit. 
I'm going to try to eat nothing from a package. That's going to be tough, but I'm going to try. So maybe I won't say I'm going to totally not have anything from a package, but I'm going to try not to have anything from a package. If it doesn't have a face or it didn't come from the ground, I'm not going to eat it. That's how I'm going to try this week. So let's see what happens. Maybe that'll work. I do find, which is really strange, yesterday I ate really well, stayed within my points as usual, but some of the things I had had a little bit of extra sodium in it. And I know this because when I wake up in the morning and I bend my hands and I feel that tight feeling like they're puffy, I know I'm holding in water. I don't know, part of life for a woman, I guess, but um, I definitely notice it and I feel it. Yeah, and then all day today I was trying to drink water and, you know, but I don't know. I hate getting weighed at night because then you wonder, am I less in the morning? And, you know, it's crazy how the number on a scale can make you feel. You know, why does it have to be, I don't know, like I almost wish Weight Watchers would be where you didn't have to, like, get on the scale and weigh yourself. I almost wish they would do, like, measurements. I don't know. I don't know. You know what? I'm so full of excuses right now. It's pathetic. And I'm, I'm pissed off at myself for thinking these things, but I can't help it. I'm human. So <sighs> anyway, that's my experiment for this week. Who's in on it? You guys going to help me out and join in and communicate with me about it? I mean, so many of you this past week have been so awesome with your comments with the fruit and, you know, your encouraging words made me feel again like a million bucks and uh you guys are the best i love you guys you're awesome so that's pretty much my way in day one pound down <laughs> on top of the 0.8 that i lost the 0.2 that i gained all this other stuff i don't even know anymore i can't even figure it out because i just want to hear that i hit five pounds you know when the leader in the meeting says and who's hit some milestones and like everybody's sitting there quiet and they're looking around like nobody it's like, I want to raise my hand and be like, I lost five pounds, but I can't say it yet because I haven't. Damn it. So this week, no junk, processed bread, none of that crap. I'm going to eat eggs and protein and fish and salads and vegetables and see what happens. Core foods. So if you're in on it, jump in on it. I'd love to have you uh, do a video response, do something. And hey, guys, for those of you who have mentioned me in your videos. June Penny. June Penny, you're the best. I appreciate every shout out you give to me. And um, guys, check her out. June Penny. I am going to try to <laughs> hold my iPod or iPad with one hand. I am going to put June Penny's name right here. Check her out. She's awesome. I love that girl. And um, I love all of you guys. So here we go. Next week coming up, Core Foods. Who's in on it? Be in on it. Join the team. Think and stay positive, and I will talk to you guys soon.